starting first, Pete Bounds and Jevon Walmsley. And of course, that is the big news that Ben Birchall with his new passenger, Kevin Rousseau, unable to take the start after an accident in qualifying. We'll run you by the details of that in a moment. Here are the Crow brothers. Three podiums on a great run of form this week. What can they do? That was Reeves and Wilkes getting ready to go. And this is Founds and Walmsley out well into uh, the lap already down at the bottom of Bray Hill. Coming up to Ago's leap. This always looks so nervous, doesn't it, on the sidecar outfit. Just a little bit of air. And riding on board now with the Crow brothers down Bray Hill. Have a listen to that engine scream. Now, in the background there, you can see already Ryan and Callum Crow closing down on Peter Fountain and Jevon Walsley. I say closing down, they leave at 10 second intervals like they're doing the solo, and you can see that's not 10 now, probably half the gap down to five already. Yeah, that'll be spurring the Crow brothers on. That's incredible. I did not expect them to make that much time off on Pete Fountain and Jevon Walmsley. Yeah, fantastic performance. So they're hunting for that win, aren't they? Three podiums. They know as well, obviously, with Ben Birchall and Kevin Rousseau missing that it's a great opportunity for them as Reeves and Wilkes come through. Yeah, another pairing that are no strangers to the podium. Class act. So on board now with Dave Molyneux. Oh, oh he's pulled no. off to the side of the road. Yep, only made it to Ballacrane traffic lights. We should talk a bit, up, Cam, about the fact Birchall's not here. And that's why the Crows, of course, are, are so keen to, to really get a lick on and put their mark on this race. They were, they were challenging the Birchall brothers last year. Ben Birchall, of course, has now got a new passenger in Kevin Rousseau because uh, Tom Birchall's joined the, the TT Plus commentary team, decided he doesn't want a passenger around her anymore. I think that's fair with the number of wins they had. Absolute TT legend. But Ben wants to carry on. Unfortunately, him and Kevin, mechanical failure during practice week. It is fast enough. Now then, Founds and Wormsley. Oh, the Crows. They've closed the gap, and you wonder, I would say by now, that Founds and Wormsley will know that they have the Crows closing down on their tail. If you look at the leaderboard, you can see 9.4 seconds is the gap, so they're just 0.6 back. They started 10 seconds back, and the leaderboard, of course, shows you their time out on course. So they are leading, even though they're not first on the road, they've closed that 10 second gap down. Look at this. Callum Crow, like an acrobat, twisting, flying his body. Oh, through. In. They're through. They're past. They're, they're, their outfit has been very fast through the speed trap all week, and with that slipstream, they've blasted on past on their way into Quarry Bend. Did you hear? The limiter, yeah. yeah. Founds and Walmsley look are still right there. They're looking to come back. Now it's their turn to get the slipstream coming down this straight. Look at that. You see the inside wheel lift off from the sidecar outfit. They're tucked right in. We saw in the solo race people passing back, even though they're 10 seconds ahead. And we got, I think we might see the same here again. Oh, they're coming in. This is a schoolhouse corner on the way into Parliament Square. We're just about to complete sector three. Is he going to have a look up the inside Ooh. here? Oh, they're late on the brakes, really late, and they do. So Founds and Walmsley up back inside. up the inside. They run wide, though, and in the background, the Crows get the grip back on the inside. Better traction on the exit and blast back into the lead. This is unbelievable. Reminding of we, me what we saw in that super sport race between Jamie Coward and Dean, Dean Harrison. Dean Harrison, yeah. Generally, when a competitor makes up 10 seconds and passes, Whoever's been passed will be happy to sit behind, but not so in the case here. Absolutely fantastic. Lifting wheels again through the left hander, right into Ramsey, tucked in. Look, foot up in the air, hanging off the inside through Stella Maris. The Crows are almost on a defensive line up into the hairpin there. Now they come out wide and take the right line. Behind, Founds and Walmsley. She's only over halfway through our first lap, and already we have a race on our hands. This is really a two outfit race at the front, and say with 10 seconds, you'd think that the Crows have got this nicely under control with three laps to go, Cam, and these machines can be a bit fragile as well. Oh, that is Holden and Clays being passed by Blackstock and Rosney. Wow, as they wind their way into Guthrie's here, making their way up onto the mountain mile. And we go back to the Crows now, and they're at Governor's Dip. So this has been a good first lap. It'd be great to see what pace they're on. Remember, we had a lap record last year in sidecar. Yeah, the 120 mile an hour mark was eclipsed. We never thought we'd see that eclipse, and it was by the Birchalls, and also then later by Pete Founds and Yevon Wormsley. It's a brilliant start then for Ryan and Callum Crow as they come round to complete the first lap of the first sidecar encounter at the TT 2024. Tucked right in, back down Bray Hill. Can they hold on and take their first ever victory on the Isle of Man? What an exciting prospect we have on our hands here. Manx Brothers, local lads leading 
for Sycar TT. This is only, heading into this race, Andrew, they'd only completed 10 race laps around the course. Absolutely incredible. They did such a good job last year, and obviously leading now, brilliant first lap. Couple of passes up in Ramsey into the lead, and then uh, they lost the lead on the way back into Ramsey and, and back in again on the edge. Literally one corner, wasn't it? Fantastic between them. Reeves and Wilkes. Alison Clement, this world championship pairing. I think people would expect, wouldn't they, the world sidecar champions would come here immediately be on the pace, but it's a great indicator, and they are, they're, they're, you know, they're doing well, but it is a great indicator of how specialist this event is. Yeah, absolutely, and I believe they're running a reasonably stock tune of engine. Just for reliability, this year is about Get working out which way they go, but boy, that's an exciting partnership for the future, isn't it? Look how smooth they look. Crow Brothers coming through onto Glen Crutchery Road. They've got one lap to go to take their first ever Isle of Man victory at home on the island on which they live. It would be a brilliant, brilliant result for them. Blasting down over the start finish line. And what's their lap speed for this first flying lap? We look at the times coming through. 119.8 yeah. mile. Now, well, that's a PB for those boys. That's an incredible time. I think just 12 months ago, we were wondering whether we ever see the first 120 mile an hour lap, and those boys are knocking on the door. After setting a sensational 119.8, of course, they get two flying laps. Will they, will they consolidate for what looks set to be their first TT victory, or will they keep their head down and try to eclipse the 120 mile per hour mark? on board with Holden and Clace as we see Ellis and Clement come through. Cam, they're past quite a few outfits now to be at this position on the road. They certainly have. They just keep improving this pairing. What a sensational finish they're set to get in their debut TT sidecar race. So here is the battle for P3. That is Lewis Blackstock and Patrick Rosney on the nine. And behind them, Alan Founds and Reese Gibbons on the 10. So obviously they've closed the 10 seconds down. Between them, the gap is not a lot. And this is for the last podium space in this uh, this first sidecar encounter. Yeah, Blackstock and Rosney, they've never been on the podium. They had a P4. But of course, Alan Founds has been on the podium. But Reese Gibbons, his newcomer sidecar passenger, has not. Well, that'd be an incredible result, wouldn't it? Especially for a newcomer. They can just sit tight now, Cam. They've made up that 10 seconds. You know, could follow them home, really, and not take any risks. But it's all about these two. The Crow brothers, the last time there was a Manx win on the island was Dave Molliner in 2014. The last time it was a pair of Manx win was 2009. It is a first TT win for Ryan and Callum Crow at home. What a brilliant result. Their whole family, the whole island will be proud of them. There we go then, Ryan and Callum Crow with their first ever win. Founds and Wolvesley in P2 with Founds and Gibbons in P3. Gibbons, the fastest ever newcomer passenger. Ellis in P7, the fastest ever newcomer driver. And Clement, his passenger, becomes the fastest ever female passenger.